So communities in Western Sydney uh, typically have a lower awareness of dementia prevention or even the fact that it is preventable. They also have very high risk factors such as obesity, low physical inactivity, not having very good diets. So being able to work in this space and to empower these communities to let them know that dementia is preventable and that they have the power to change their own dementia risk is something that I'm striving towards. My name is Dr Joyce Siet. I'm a research theme fellow in health and wellbeing at Western Sydney University. Brain Boot Camp is a program that aims to target um, dementia prevention by reducing individuals' dementia risk and raising awareness um, of modifiable lifestyle factors. Brain Boot Camp was actually uh, voted by members of the public in the Lane Cove electorate. Um, we put forward the ID and members of the public voted for it and the New South Wales government funded us to start in 2019. Ringo was actually the first participant to join the program and his involvement as well as many others is a valuable contribution for us in terms of understanding what worked for them um, as well as what didn't work so that we can refine the program further down the track and create more useful and accessible programs for others. Please tell me your uh, name and your previous occupation. Uh, it's Ringo Seed. I work for immigration department before I retire. You also mentioned too before you retired you worked for the Chinese Australian Service Society. I think it's uh, probably one year after my retirement I started involving, yeah. uh, working as volunteer worker with uh, CAS, a Chinese association. CAS actually has uh, many different groups and I was involved in teaching English with the elderly group in Asheville. Uh, brain boot camp raised your awareness about dementia? I would say that dementia is uh, part of the unavoidable uh, aging process and as I grow, get uh, older and older I can feel my physical health is uh, declining so I'm very concerned about <laughs> being healthy and being uh, not to catch or not to get the de dementia myself. But obviously coming from a different cultural background, how important is it to raise the dementia to communities from CAS or just around Australia? In general, I think people from uh, different cultural and linguistic background are in a uh, disadvantaged uh, position. They are more or less uh, socially isolated. So the awareness or raising the awareness of dementia is uh, critical for them, especially in their own languages. So preliminary findings indicate that the program is quite successful. We found that in 7 in 10 um, participants who joined the program had substantial improvements in their brain health um, after three months. And we find also that about 90% of people reported um, a really valuable experience. They also said that they were now confident in managing their dementia risk reduction. Dementia is a very complex problem. In order to tackle this, you're going to need many people from different disciplines. And so Brain Boot Camp itself was a program that combined psychology, public health, uh, linguistics, computer science, disciplines um, from national and international groups, as well as involvement from community organisations such as councils, um, aged care providers, and not-for-profit peak bodies to really tackle the question of how we can help seniors to age well. Dementia is a global public health concern. Right now, every three seconds, one person in the world develops dementia, which is a pretty scary statistic. We need to be able to tackle this disease and give back um, quality of life to individuals, particularly knowing that dementia itself is preventable. Everyone has the power right now to change their own dementia risk.